Hello, this is Wojciech Przybylski from CAviation.net and this is the first episode of my countdown series before the release of Flight Simulator 2020 on the 18th of August uh, this year. In this series I will be covering uh, interesting features and I will be sharing some comments on the upcoming uh, FS2020 and I thought it would be the best to make a short episode that every day for the next four weeks and show it at the same time uh, with hopefully the growing audience and because the chunks of information will be small you will be able to ingest them without losing too much time. One disclaimer, I'm, I'm bound by the NDA so I will not be sharing any confidential data, I will not be sharing anything that I uh, learned while testing uh, the FS2020. I'll be only covering the publicly known information and um, sharing some experience that I gained uh, in the years uh, when I wrote CAviation.net uh, and CalyptiaVision.com uh, the second blog is in Polish. A bit of introduction. Uh, I feel like I should introduce myself to you in this first video. Uh, well, my name is Wojciech Przybylski. As I said, I'm writing for CIAviation.net. Uh, this is a small website uh, covering uh, reviews of uh, aircraft, of sceneries, and some tutorial, tutor, tutorials on how to fly uh, and how to enjoy flight simulation software better. Mm, currently I'm uh, running the site and running my YouTube with my friend, partner and, well, Skipper. Skipper. And this is the friend and partner in crime and uh, co-author of CAVision.net and of this channel. So he's now sleepy because we are doing it <laughs> in the middle of the night. But usually uh, he's cheerful and helpful and hopefully you will know him better after this 28 days. So straight to business uh, we have uh, prices options and uh, pre-order uh, to cover in this episode so i will tell you how much the flight simulator uh, 2020 costs uh, what's included in each uh, in each edition and whether it's worth buying uh, in pre-order or maybe not so Basically, we have a standard edition, which comes uh, for 70 euro or 60 dollars or 60 pounds. We also have deluxe edition, 90 euro, 90 dollars, 80 pounds. And premium deluxe, 120 euro or dollars or 110 pounds. Uh, what's different between this free edition? It's only the number of airports and planes that you get uh, with the edition you buy. So buying standard edition gets you 20 uh, airplanes that you can fly and 30 handcrafted airports among roughly 30,000. Uh, in total in the flight simulator 2020. Uh, those airports that, that are handcrafted look much better according to videos released by uh, Microsoft and Acebo Studios. Uh, they look, they show the quality of uh, current uh, payware add-ons for uh, flight simulator X, for prepared air and for X-Plane. So, Mm, by paying 
70 euro you get uh, 30 airports like this if you get deluxe you get five additional planes and five additional airports and if you pay for premium deluxe you get another five additional planes so uh, 13 total and another five additional airports 14 total uh, which uh, option of this i would recommend if you were to buy one of those i would say go for the premium deluxe uh, if you calculate the price of this airport that you get they that are of a payware add-on quality uh, i don't think you will be able to buy uh, such add-ons on the market later on uh, for the same price on the other hand if you intend on buying uh, all the airports from all the third-party developers maybe it's not worth uh, getting this um, premium deluxe with additional uh, option well, getting this premium deluxe option with additional airports uh, Generally, it depends on the airports you're interested in. Mm. And we'll cover this topic later, in two days, uh, when I'll be covering airports. Uh, I will explain which airports are in which edition. Generally, uh, you get some small airports, some major ones, uh, some in the middle. Most of these airports are some very interesting places to go. So. Uh, even if you are not uh, exactly into some airports, I would still go for the best option. In terms of planes, uh, these are default planes that come with the simulator. Uh, judging from the videos that uh, Microsoft shared, they are of a much better quality that, than what we know as default planes in prepared or in X-Plane. But still, these are default aircraft. Um, some features may be missing, some simplifications may be uh, introduced that you wouldn't find uh, in a top add-ons from the best third-party developers. So if you intend on buying uh, planes in PMDG or A2A, it may be worth uh, looking in, waiting for those add-ons and uh, not necessarily uh, buying a better edition just to get some more planes. One more option that you have of buying this uh, sim is Xbox, Xbox Game Pass uh, for uh, roughly four euro or five dollars or four pounds. You get you get monthly access to all the games in the Xbox Game Pass for PC library. Uh, in terms of the FS 2020, you get the standard edition. So uh, 20 aircraft and 30 airports for the price of uh, for the price of four euro, five dollars or four pounds. Uh, is it a good deal or not? Uh, if you look in the long term if you want to use this flight simulator for two years three years and so on uh, it's not the best uh, investment you will get uh, the one-time purchase will be much cheaper on the other hand if you are not sure whether this flight simulation software is for you if you're not sure whether uh, is it worth your time if you want to uh, test it before switching from prepared or explain or if you've never been into flight simulation software and you would like to try if this is something for you that then i would recommend this option get xbox game pass for pc uh, in this price or uh, i think it's one euro one dollar or one pound uh, for the first month so uh, you can test it for one single dollar and you will fly in the flight simulator 2020 for the whole month judging uh, 
if it's a good software or maybe it's not your cup of tea. So uh, this would be my recommendation. Wait until the release and then go for uh, Xbox Game Pass just to check it, just to uh, test if all the features that you require are in place. You don't have to get the pre-order. So the last thing I wanted to discuss was uh, getting pre-order or not. Uh, and I think I've already did. Uh, if you're not sure whether this is, whether the flight simulator is something that you really want and that you will enjoy for a long time, go with Xbox uh, Game Pass and test it. On the other hand, if you're a simmer like me, if you have already bought uh, prepared with lots of add-ons or explain or maybe just like me both, you will probably sooner or later get uh, the Flight Simulator 2020. So why not get it now? Why not boost the company that makes it, uh, boost the team uh, who work hard on getting all the features by declaring your faith uh, in this uh, endeavor. So maybe maybe it's a good idea to put some cash into this business and to show them that uh, you're on board, you're interested in the software and you really uh, keep your fingers crossed for them. So these are your, option, uh, your options. And, and this is basically what you need to know about purchasing this software. Uh, tomorrow I will cover the aircraft uh, that you will find in the flight simulator and in two days we'll cover uh, the airports. Uh, all of those uh, that are in standard edition, deluxe and premium editions. So um, in three days you should have a general knowledge of what is it that you're purchasing. Now some Mm, answers to some questions that uh, appeared after I released the same episode in Polish. Um, first thing, keep in mind that you get the same software no matter what uh, edition you pay for. Everything else apart from this uh, couple of aircraft and couple of airports is exactly the same. Uh, you will get the same scenery, the same performance, no matter if you have standard or premium deluxe edition. So the only thing you pay for additionally is the additional content of flyable aircraft and uh, beautiful, let's say they are beautiful, <laughs> um, beautiful airports. This was the most common question I got. So. I'm answering it before you have occasion to ask it. There was one more question. Yeah. Mm, what about the Game Pass? What if you stop paying for that? Uh, if you stop paying for, for the Game Pass, it's like with Net Netflix, for example. Uh, if you stop paying, you just lose uh, the access. If you pay for another month in half a year, you will regain the access. So uh, once again, if you want to test it and you're not sure if you want the mm, software that was just released and probably have some diffing problems, then you can test it in August and September. Uh, then you can uh, just cancel your Game Pass subscription, wait three or four months wait for the decisions of the developers and come back in January. Another four euros or four dollars, it's, well, it's like going for one beer uh, or maybe less, depending on how much you pay for, for your beer. So it's really not much money uh, just to test it and to make sure what you need. Okay, this is all for today. I hope you like it. I hope uh, I did well. Well, that's my first uh, video of that length and this style for YouTube. So uh, as you may 
uh, have noticed that I'm a little nervous. And well, and Skipper is asleep. He doesn't uh, see them. Uh, he doesn't feel the gravity of the situation for me. <laughs> okay, so uh, once again, thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. The channel is new. Hopefully it will grow. You can give me a thumbs up. It will give me some strength to do another episode and it will help uh, me position this video for a larger audience. And well, visit me at uh, caviation.net on my blog. Visit the Facebook page. Uh, we have quite a community there. And let's get to know each other. Mm, please comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you've enjoyed it. Good night.